Hello, my name is Cody Trigg, principal at Southeast High School. We would like to welcome you to Freshman Preview. This is the first step in helping the class of 2025 march towards excellence. Many incoming ninth graders ask themselves, what is high school about? Is it about dances, joining clubs and participating in activities, trying out for a sports team, making new friends and building relationships that may last a lifetime? The answer is yes, that is what high school is about. But being a Spartan is about much more than that. We like to truly show off our East Side pride with activities such as homecoming and spirit week. Where we incorporate things such as character day and class color day. At Southeast, we have 21 different teams that students can try out for. Information will be posted along the year to tell you when tryouts are and when seasons begin. If there are any questions, please speak with our athletic director, Mr. DeVoe. We also have numerous extracurricular activities, different clubs and groups, hopefully an opportunity for each student to find an interest and expand their horizon. But the best part about Southeast is if there isn't a club that you wanna be in, but you have an interest, speak with Mr. Trigg about starting that club. We'll work together to be able to create a club and help students expand their interests. What it comes down to though, it's about academics. We want you to start building a resume, developing good study habits, working toward good grades and graduation. We want you to have a plan for your future. Everyone must have a plan before they graduate for life after high school. And always remember, grades are forever. Well, almost. We'll keep transcripts on file for up to 60 years. We'll send those transcripts to colleges, trade schools, the military. Some jobs even require transcripts to, in order to be hired. So it's important we have a positive transcript to send to them. But like it was mentioned, it all begins your freshman year. Whether your plan is to go to college, join the military, attend a trade school or a job training program, or, or enter the workforce, we want you to be successful. We want you to represent Southeast well after your time at Southeast. We want you to have the career you want to be and be successful as you want to be. And we will help you with skills and the training to do that. We also encourage many of our freshmen to ask a senior, what are some things they would have done differently? Uh, many of the seniors that we speak with and that you'll speak with will say that they wish they would have taken freshman year more seriously. They wish they could get a do-over to maybe get a better grade in a class or try something new. So keep that in mind as you begin your freshman year. We will also give you an opportunity to speak with seniors about some advice and building upon that advice to be successful. What it comes down to is credits. Students must have a certain amount of credits to graduate, and we'll get to that in a moment. But what it comes down to is students can earn a full credit when they pass a class or an entire year. They earn a half credit when they pass it for a semester. You'll take seven classes a year, which means you can earn seven credits. You'll work with your guidance person to understand what areas they must be in. You just can't take random classes and get to your number of credits to graduate. They must be certain areas and specific areas to get those credits. These are the graduation requirements that each Southeast graduate will have to meet. Four English credits, three math credits, three science credits, 1.5 social science, one US history, half American government credit, half a health credit, one-fourth driver's ed, one-fourth consumer's ed, two PE credits, two fine arts, and seven and a half elective credits, and a half a public speaking credit. You'll work with your guidance administrator to set a plan and to meet these credits. But every freshman will take math, science, PE, driver's ed, consumer's ed, those are each for a quarter, intro to social studies, which is a semester, and two electives. If you pass all of your classes each year, as you get to be a junior and senior, you'll be able to get to make more choices in those electives. What it comes down to is 26 credits to graduate. We are here to help you start your high school career on a strong note where you can stay on track and graduate with your class that you entered with. You could possibly graduate with up to 28 credits, but it's simple. If you don't pass, you don't get the credit, no exceptions. When you're registering, you're gonna see numbers. For example, Algebra 135. The one means that it's your first year of it. The three means that it's a full year class. 
and the five is the weight or difficulty, uh, whether that's workload or rigor of the class. At the bottom, you'll see the weights. A four weight is you're working at grade level. Five weight is a little advanced. Six is an honors class, and seven is advanced placement. You'll work with your guidance administrator to determine which one is the best one for you. But this is how we're gonna pick classes. A lot of it comes off of recommendations from your eighth grade teachers. They will give us information based upon your grades now, your standardized test scores, your study habits or work ethic. We also want you to start thinking about your electives. Electives sometimes play a role in your future, maybe a college major or a career plan. What are your, what are your interests? Or maybe you simply just wanna explore an option you never got to before. It's always important to try something new. The following is how you're going to schedule classes this year due to COVID-19 restrictions. Hello, this video tutorial will show you how to navigate the student course request program so you can select the elective courses you would like to take for your freshman year of high school. As you may know, your school day will consist of seven periods. Four of those periods are your core classes and have already been determined for you by recommendations on behalf of your eighth grade teachers. The fifth class you'll take is gym. The remaining two periods are open to you for your preference as to what we call elective classes. Some elective classes are only one semester long, while others are full year classes. Let's take a look at what's available to you. Once you are logged in to our District 186 intranet, you will see on the left in your navigation menu, the Student Course Requests Program. Once you select the Student Course Request Program, you will see your name at the top of the page, as well as the school to which you are registered to attend. As an example, you'll see this particular student will be attending Springfield High School. You will also see several elective course options available to you for selection. As we scroll through, you'll see art, business education, computer science, foreign language, home economics, music, and non-departmental. You will notice that some courses are worth half a credit, 0.5, while other courses are worth a full credit, 1. This is how you can tell which courses are semester-only courses. 0.5 are semester-only. Full-year courses are worth one credit hour. Please note, if you request intro to 2D art for a half credit, you must also request intro to 3D art for the half credit as well. Additionally, if you request digital literacy from business education, you must also request keyboarding as well. You are not allowed to mix and match half credit courses among different departments. Please note, as you make your request selections for your two elective credit hours, your guidance deans will do their best to honor your requests as it fits into your schedule. However, it cannot be guaranteed. If this occurs, they will work with you to find electives that will accommodate your schedule. To request your electives, simply click on the box to the right of the course as shown before in the video. Once you've made your selections to equal two credit hours, scroll down the page and select the green submit button. Once you have submitted your elective course requests, they are locked in and ready for your parent or guardian to review and approve. Only parents or guardians can reset the elective course request process for you. Parents and guardians will access your request submissions by logging into their District 186 intranet account and navigating to the student course request program. There, they will see the elective courses you have submitted. They will review your preferences 
for elective courses and either approve the request or reset the requests for you as the student to submit new elective course requests. Once your parent or guardian approves the request from their account, it is locked in. Any changes to elective course requests will need to be addressed by contacting the appropriate guidance dean at your school. Thank you for watching and good luck to you as you begin your high school years with District 186. Thank you for joining us for Preview. We want you to be successful Spartans. Please reach out to myself, Mr. Trigg, the building principal, or any of the guidance administrators to be able to help you in setting your path as a successful Spartan. And as always, we hope you have a great day on the east side.